Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna make this awesome rag tree. I've always wanted to make one of these and I finally did. And boy, I wish I would have done it sooner. My name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics and I'm gonna walk you through this amazing, easy, mindless project. Now, I don't know about you, but tearing fabric is something pretty amazing. I'm trying to count how many pieces there and I missed it. I wanna say like 12. I start out from size five inches I think there's like 10 or 11 or 12 pieces there. It depends on the size of your dowel. Um, so start from five and go all the way to 11 inches, I believe. So there's one, let's see. There's one, two, three, come on, three, four, five, six. Looks like there's seven different types of material. This material is homespun. I got it off of Amazon. It's a little expensive, but this type of project you want to use something that has material uh, on both sides, not material, but um, images on both sides. Um, you could use like a plain muslin, uh, coffee stained, yeah, that kind of stuff right there. Um, whatever you fancy. In hindsight, I would have, next time I make one, I will make a larger, uh, a fatter dowel because I felt like my tree was a little skinny. Um, so that's just a pack of dowels I picked up. One of the craft stores, it came with different sizes. The um, the thing it's going to be put into is a piece of spindle that I purchased from Lowe's, I believe, a long time ago. They have like small, medium, and large, and this was just a piece left over. I thought it was the perfect base. I'm using DIY Dark and Decrepit for my stain. It's awesome stuff. So I drilled. I didn't even need to use glue because my drill hole was like perfect and that really stayed in there good. Look, I'm happy. I, I didn't realize, see the little dot on the top of my, my wood skewer. I don't realize till later that I forgot to stain that. <laughs> so we end up touching that up. I think it actually covers it up. So this is so simple, y'all. Um, again, I would use a thicker um, rod next time just so my tree was a little more fluffy and not so skinny. Now my uh, my strands are probably a little bit too long. Um, I could have probably saved a little material by not, but it was just the length of the uh, fat quarter. So as I tie them, as I make my way up, I'm using all of the same color um, for however many pieces of there, I think eight or 10 or 12 or something like that. But I'm just shifting my knots just a little bit so they're not all in one pile in the same exact spot. Just a simple, one tie that is it and as you go you want to push it down so it's they're in there nice and tight um it'll just give it a better fluff and i'm that's all i do all the way up and as we go up we're going from from large to small i did put a random piece of muslin in there here and there in hindsight it wasn't really it didn't make any big uh impact or whatever. I would love to do one of these in lace, but these are so great because they're so easy and versatile that you could make this exactly to your style, your colors, your decor. This doesn't, I don't think this screams Christmas at all. This is probably something you could leave out year round depending on what materials and colors that you use, but it's definitely a winter project. So that's what it's looking like, um, like a crazy blob of tied up uh, of material over and over again. But y'all, this is so cute. Like, I really love this project. You could even spray some um, essential oils in there. So, you know, when you walk by it, it smells nice, you know, whatever flavor you fancy. And uh, yeah, if you guys um, like my style, I'd love for you to smash that subscription button. And um, then you'll, you'll be notified when I uh, upload new videos or I go live on uh, YouTube. It's been a minute I've been live, but it does happen. <laughs> so some of these were a little fatter than I liked, and it was, again, skinny. So I thought by cutting some of them in half, it would give me a little more fluff, and it did, actually. Um, anything that was just sticking out. I gave it a little haircut, and I cut all everything that was hanging off the bottom. I just cut it flush with the bottom stand that I have there. Um, so you could use a piece of uh, just plain, whatever you have to use as a base. You just wanted to make sure it stands up and it's sturdy because the material is not heavy. The dowel is not heavy. Um, depending on what you put on the topper, we just put a little um, rusty star, two rusty stars. So those aren't heavy. It doesn't make it top heavy at all. So just be mindful of um, how big you're making it and what you're putting on for your topper uh, would depend on what your base needs. So I just go around and cut, cut the ones that are a little fat that I thought needed a little fluffing. Um, and I just love this project. I really, really love it. I want to really do one with lace or cream colors. I think it would be so pretty. Shabby chic. I mean, 
these these don't have to be Christmas so like I said depending on what colors you use so this is Pentart heavy body gel it has many many uses it's a workhorse but one of its known uh, uses is to adhere metal to pretty much anything metal to metal metal to plastic metal to wood um, end up saying I don't think I end up coloring that uh, little dot white dot it's bugging me though I should <laughs> so the dowel is a little thick and I wanted to sandwich these um, two back to back that way you could look at the tree anyway you know all the way around so I just put a little heavy body gel on the, the stick itself and um, put my two rusty stars there and uh, held them together with a clamp I do have these rusty I have a lot of rusty stuff actually if you check out my website uh, scrappiesrustics.com it is in the description as well we have all kinds of um, boutique style craft supplies basically stuff you can't buy on Amazon Hobby Lobby that kind of stuff I'm an IOD stockist, wise owl, decoupage papers, rusty stuff, t-shirts. Oh boy, just all kinds of good stuff. Resin and molds and oh my, <laughs> large decoupage papers. And I take pride in having uh, stuff that, you know, can't easily be found. So I just love how this project came out. I hope this inspires at least someone to try this. Or if you've been wanting to try it, do it. Don't wait like I did. Don't wait like I did. And don't forget to hit that subscription button. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Again, I would like it a little fluffier. So next time we learn by doing y'all, you got to do it and you will learn. And uh, that's just the way it goes. Look how cool that looks. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.